Um, hi guys, today we are moving out, moving in, but not into the containers. We're moving out of our tiny apartment because we have two dogs and a baby in a one bedroom place. So we're going into a bigger space. So let's start packing. <laughs> Oh, you want me to say something first? Might as well. Well, this is a stalemate then. <sighs> so it's the uh, 4th of July weekend and it is raining, mm -hmm. which is good news for us. Woo! Um, we are gonna hopefully finish cutting out the first two walls of the containers today. But Tough time. We only have like three or four hours to get it done. So we're just gonna work really fast and quantity over quality over here. <laughs> I mean, we were going as fast as we could before and it was still slow. <laughs> this process just takes forever. And I knew it was gonna be tough and I knew it was gonna be, you know, kind of yeah. sucky, but sheesh. It is, it is a lot. It's been like three weeks of this now. Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> smoke that was coming out from all these cracks and everything the phone catches on fire and that's why Madison can only go so high with the oxy torch in retrospect we probably should have put the foam in after we cut the walls out but you live and you learn
I needed to let my angle grinder uh, cool off because they're not really designed to run non-stop. I already burned one out earlier. Um, but with that being said, I figured I could move this metal a little bit so it's out of the way and so we can, uh, you know, try to avoid getting cows under here, which we do have, unfortunately, and uh, prevent less of a slick risk. <laughs> slick risk. Yeah. But anyways. Um, enjoy me moving metal. Good morning. It rained all night last night. We had crazy storms, um, which I don't know if you know this, but in Montana, that's kind of a kind of a weird thing in July. Usually we have fires at this time. But anyways, um, it is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, go America. And today I am working on getting this metal out and supporting this beam in both of them. Currently it's, there we go. Um, it's only supporting that container. And so what I need to do is I need to hammer it and cut out the metal that's blocking it up top so it supports both containers. Uh, the reason we do this is because although the frame is solid in itself, when people walk across it, you can see the metal bows. Um, and so the wood is, just there to support it. And they're about 12 feet in on each side to, to kind of disperse the weight. So um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. accomplished this week it was awesome we weren't even actually planning on getting out here in the first place but with that being said we were able to cut out all of the green wall and then pretty much a third of the middle wall um, which actually has opened up quite a bit and now we all we have left is about a 15 foot um, section of the wall which is awesome um, once all those walls get out we're moving forward and we're going to start cleaning this place up a little bit it's got a lot of like dead wood over there and just just around the place um 
But with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. That'd be great. We'd greatly appreciate it. Um, until then, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks.